there's one card that's come out in the last year that's taken a major spotlight in the credit card world and that would be the city custom cash card this is a card that's a great fit for beginners in the space because of its easy to use benefits and no annual fee or a great add-on to any credit card setup you may have today and it all starts with the place you'll get the bulk of your value from which is the initial sign up bonus because by signing up and hitting the minimum spend of $750 in the first three months, you'll get $200 cash back right away. Now $750 over three months should be within reach for most people. And if you really need to stretch, maybe cover the cost of a meal with friends and then get them to pay you back. And because this is a relatively beginner friendly card, the credit required to get approved for the card isn't that high. So basically, if you get this card and hit the minimum spend, you'll get an immediate $200 for your $750 in spend, giving you a return on spend of 27%, which is a really solid number. Just know that yes, it is possible to get this card again and get the signup bonus, but you'll have to wait 48 months between the two. Also, when you're getting the signup bonus, it's not $200 direct cash back to you, but instead it's paid out in 20,000 city thank you points. This is actually better because yes, you still can redeem for one cent a point to give you the $200 cash back, but you can use them in other ways as well, like pairing with a city premier card, then transferring points to travel partners to get even higher value redemptions, but more on that later. Now, apart from the signup bonus, which is really good for a card with with no annual fees. The main reason people get this card is because of the value you get for your spend because you'll get 5% back or because it's paid out in points, five times back when spending in one of the qualifying categories up to $500 in spend every single month. After hitting that cap, all other spend will only give you one times points back, which is the same amount that you'll get when spending outside of the categories. And those categories are restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, select travel, transit, streaming services, drug stores, home improvement stores, fitness clubs, and live entertainment. Yes, that's a really long list and does include a lot of your everyday spend categories, but researching into the details, there's quite a lot of fine print. First, for restaurants, it'll include your usual restaurants with cafes, bars, lounges, and fast food, but this category does not include bakeries, catering, and restaurants inside other businesses. For example, if you were to spend at a restaurant inside a hotel, you're only gonna get one times points back for that spend. Moving on to gas stations, most of the use cases here should be covered minus warehouse clubs like Costco, which is a common theme throughout these type of categories. Then when it comes to grocery stores, it again does not include wholesale clubs like Costco and also no candy stores and discount stores. Onto the select categories for travel, transit and streaming. I'll just leave this list up on the screen for you to look at, but they do cover the majority of your common use cases. And then the same with your drug stores, home improvement, fitness and live entertainment. So pause if you want to read more on these. That said, I think the number of categories this card has is really wide and directly competes with popular cards like the Chase Freedom Flex that gives you five times back in select categories up to $1,500 in three months. Now the spending cap on that card is the same as the custom cash, but it's a lot less flexible because it's only on the categories that Chase decides for that quarter and you have to manually go in to activate the offer whereas on the custom cash side it automatically does it for you on whichever category you spent the most in and you can change the categories from month to month but on the other hand you don't want to spread your spend too thin as well because say you're spending $200 a month in five different categories you're only going to get five times points on one category and all the other four will only net you one times points. Instead, the best way to use this card is to predetermine which category you're going to be spending on with the card and only spend on that category to get the five times back. Say you're going to a concert and all the spend is going to add up to $500, then exclusively use that card 
for live entertainment. It's also really important to take a look at what other cards you have or can get to cover categories that you regularly spend on, especially if you're spending more than the $500 cap. Because if you buy groceries for a lot of people and spend $1,000 a month on groceries, you're only gonna get five times points back on half of that whereas the other half is only one time. Instead, you can look at other cards that will give you a lot of points for grocery spend, like the blue cash preferred giving you 6% back, the Amex Gold giving you four times, or even City's own double cash giving you two times on all of your spend. Then you can dedicate the custom cash on another category to get five times there. That said, getting five times back on spend is an awesome multiplier and makes the custom cash one really flexible card to have. Apart from spending, the custom cash doesn't have that many perks from the card. Really, you're only getting typical ones like theft protection, no liability on fraud, 24 seven customer service, and access to city entertainment. But because the custom cash card is part of the World Elite program, you get some benefits from that program too, which includes potential offers on services like DoorDash, HelloFresh, Lyft, and ShopRunner to access of MasterCard travel services that offer 24-7 lifestyle managers, help with booking, to daily breakfast, credit and room upgrades when booking through the luxury hotel and resorts collection. And also, if you're planning to travel a lot, this card may not be the best standalone card because it doesn't have a bunch of the travel perks that some other cards have. And you're still going to be charged 3% on any foreign spend for foreign transaction fees. But that's where cards like the City Premier come in that doesn't have foreign transaction fees and really supercharges the value you get from cards like the custom cash. Now, I won't go into too much detail about the card, but it does have a $95 annual fee, along with hundreds of dollars in value from the signup bonus, as well as plenty of three times point categories that you can leverage while saving your custom cash for other specific categories instead. But the most important perk is the ability to then transfer your points to one of City's many travel partners. And then remember that these travel partners also have their own partners as well. Just know that not all redemptions are equal in value and there are sweet spots around these. I'll link some resources down below for some examples on what type of redemptions you can get, but let's go over some examples here too. Widely regarded as one of the best redemptions for the City program would be to travel through the United Airlines, although it's not the most direct redemption path you might think of. United is not a direct transfer partner of City and also doesn't have the best redemption rates when redeeming on its own website. But the key here is to go through the Turkish Airlines program and then redeem on United through their partner award chart. You could redeem for flights within the US for as low as 20,000 points in economy or 30,000 points in business round trip and includes flying through to Hawaii, which is what makes this redemption so valuable. Or you can transfer to Virgin Atlantic and book one of the best redemptions in the entire credit card point space through the ANA airline. Because you'll only need 90,000 points in business or 110,000 points in first class to fly on ANA from the west coast of US to Japan. I've talked about this redemption many, many times, so I won't go into detail. But for first class, you're getting redemption values of almost 20 cents a point. Yes, that's one of the highest redemption values out there. But before you go out running to try signing up for these cards, there are some card signup rules that you should know about. First, there's the opportunity cost. As great as city cards are, Chase cards are still regarded as one of the best ecosystems to get cards in, but they also have the infamous Chase 524 rule. That's a rule that says you can't have signed up for more than five new cards in the last 24 months, or they're gonna deny you for any new cards. So if you're under the limit, you may wanna consider going for one of the Chase cards first, but if your ads are over the limit, then City cards are an amazing pickup. Just know that City has its own rules too like 128 saying you can't have more than one new card in the last eight days or 265 saying you can't have more than two new cards in the last 65 days so whichever order and which cards you decide to get keep these rules in mind so all this is part of the reason why the city custom cash card is such a great card both for beginners or experienced credit card users because it's an easy to get card that provides good value 
and doesn't require a high commitment like a high annual fee. But it's also the start of a powerful setup when paired with the City Premier that then supercharges the value you get from both cards. Then throw in the double cash card that completes the City Trifecta that fills in for any spend that doesn't fall into your two main cards and still get two times points on that spend. Again, if you're way under the 524 rule, then maybe consider getting a chase card first. But other than that, I really think that the City Custom Cash is a card that belongs in anyone's arsenal, especially because it has no annual fee anyways. So go on and check out this video about the City Trifecta to see why the Custom Cash is so powerful when paired up with the two other cards, or this video to see why the Chase Trifecta is equally if not even more powerful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.